Oh, hey guys. How is it going? You have any laundry? Give it here. Give it here. I need my hands clean because I need to be somewhere tomorrow. So give it here. I'm gonna wash it for you. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, maybe in 1985 or 6, I guess, I was at the summer camp. So at this summer camp, they were making us uh, uh, planting trees and stuff like that. And there was this girl who always wanted her nail, her fingernails to be nice and clean. So she was always asking me if I had any laundry so she can wash for me. And this way she was cleaning her fingernails. Now when I think about it, maybe it wasn't about the nails, but <laughs> at that time, go figure. Huh? Anyway, so what I'm doing here is I'm, like I promised, I'm cleaning the lenses and uh, everything for the, for the tail lights. And we will see what we can use, what we can, but it looks like we can use everything. So, I'm not gonna hold you here. I'm gonna wash them and assemble them, and then I'm gonna bring you back and we'll see what we're gonna do in today's video. Laundria. Did she really want to do my laundry or she wanted something else? Another chance missed. Never believe girl. It took me only 30 years to <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> anyway. All right. An hour later, we have one done. The other one still needs to be done. But what I did is I washed them nicely as far as I could and then I polished them with uh, mother's ultimate pure polish poly pure wax system blah 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 and mm, I think they turned out nice this is a little bit dim but compared to this one <laughs> there's a big difference right so I don't know, I'll talk to Jake also when we will see, we will decide what to do because each of these is about 20 to 30 bucks American so I don't know, we will decide what to do. This one definitely I don't like too much but we will see. Please believe it or not I spent more time cleaning it at the back here than at the front. The front was pretty clean like this one, it just needs a little bit of cleaning here. The chrome is in a, bad, in a good shape. But here there's some tar that I'm using, uh, I'm cleaning with um, steel wool. But yeah, I'm gonna clean the other one as well. And that's gonna be it for today because I'm tired. It is Friday today and uh, I'm gonna be working in the weekend too. So I'll keep going here and uh, I'm not gonna bug you with cleaning, right? Okay, these are as clean as they could be. I'm gonna wrap it up for today. It's Friday today. Actually, I'm gonna wrap it up for the week because in uh, the weekend I'm gonna be because on the weekend I'm gonna be working again, but uh, tomorrow and Saturday I'm gonna be uh, helping Mr. Tush and in Sunday I'm gonna be working on this baby. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys, and I'll see you, I guess, in five seconds. Hello? Who? Ellen? Wrong number. No such girl here. What the heck? Ellen. Who is Ellen? Who is she? I don't know her. Anyway, so, where were we? We started working on the lights. Remember, we installed the front lights, the rear lights, we just cleaned. And some of the lenses, I don't know if you can see that. Actually, let me bring you closer. Some of the lenses in certain angles you can see inside little 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 scratches so these are no no this one too Don't, they're not even scratches they're like cracks this one is a no no this one is a no no so some of them we polished if you remember now they are dusty because they've been sitting for a full week here but some of them we polished and they don't look too bad but these for example when i cleaned them i thought they looked okay because there was a huge improvement from what they were but uh, 
I don't think they are good because they are yellowish now, grayish, so I guess we should get, get new ones, so at least these five we have to change, and since we're changing those five, maybe we should change these three as well, but in the meantime, we got some goodies here. So we got a fuse box with the cover, uh, this is a brake switch for the brake pedal. This is gonna go to the 74 now, the cover for the the one that we stole for the ignition switch. Very quickly I'm gonna show you here what I have and then we're gonna start working on something because we're wasting time, right? A switch, uh, so I ordered a full set, a full set of the knobs. Those, you see, new ones, because the, the ones that have were pretty beat up and they are in a very bad condition if they exist at all. So we have some of the switches, we have some new bezels, a uh, trap for the windshield wiper motor. I needed only the rubber, but they don't sell the rubber separately, so I got the whole strap. This is the kit with bullets that I was telling you about, so that's good. We have some screws that we stole from the 74, so these are gonna go there with the 74 now. A jet set that we needed for the windshield wipers, so we got that. The little clips, that's very important, the little clips that go on the headlight bucket. This is probably what we're gonna start with. I ordered new rings because the ones that we have are a little bit up, so we have new rings. These new harnesses for the headlights, and you know now we stole the ones from the 74, so these are going to go to the 74 now. And we have a whole bunch of lenses here. So these lenses now are going to go to... They were supposed to go on the 74, but they look so nice that actually I'm going to change them and I'm going to put them on the 73 now. And I want to say something here. Uh, many of you commented in the comment section of the previous video about this uh, rim here, that it is really no is, uh, looking really nice when it's silver. But actually that's only for the 75 and later TR6. The early ones didn't have uh, anything, it was like that. And because this is 73, it should have them like this. And uh, I'm not such a purist, I don't really care about those things, but uh, since this car is going to be for sale, we're trying to bring it back to uh, as close as possible to the original, so that is why I'm not going to listen to you guys and I'm not going to paint those silver. Alright, so I had to take the whole headlight off again, but that's not a problem. It's easy now that we set it up once. And what I find is that here there is something that I don't know, maybe this is designed to hold the to hold this tab. This is the old ring. When I'm installing it, I'm gonna install the new one. So I'm just gonna grind this off and get rid of that. And this is where I'm gonna install this real thing. So this will go there, I guess like that, and then there's this backing piece that goes behind, first of all to hold the washer because through plastic it won't go into one hold, and second it has these teeth here that are like anchors, they have to go in so they don't, uh, so the, the tap doesn't spin I guess. So first I'm going to drill the hole. Okay, and now the back piece. Okay, I think I see where the hose the hose needs to be. I just run the drill bit up and down and the hope that this is gonna fit now. <laughs> like a glove. And even the hole matches. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, and we have a tub. I just hope it's in the right place, right? <laughs> And now we have one of the old or the new rings. And of course it doesn't have the nipple. <laughs> ah, those aftermarket parts. Anyways, I can line it up here. But first it needs to go and click on top. And then here at the bottom. Well. Lines up perfect, but why doesn't it go in? I have no idea. Let me try with the old one. Okay. The old one clicks like no problem. So let's see what's different about this too. The tub is a little bit wider, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see here, but this tab is a little bit wider than this one, so I'm gonna have to grind it. Mm -hmm. Now it is solid as a rock stronger than an egg. Okay, done. So let me do the other one as well. And by the way, I changed this light, this uh, lens and this lens, and now it looks much better, doesn't it? So the other ones are, are changed too, so the only thing is the tub, but I'm not gonna hold you anymore. All right, so the other one is installed as well, and all the lenses are changed in the front, and it looks great so uh enough about lights right because uh, i got bored and i'm sure you will get bored so let's do some uh, engine bay work let's see what we can start putting together there all right so i'm thinking to, to install the uh, cross member here before it gets too tight here and i won't be able to put it on but before that i noticed here there's a lot of rust and that's because these guys in the paint shop, the first paint shop, when they painted the car, they left it sitting outside for a while and many parts like this rusted. So I'm going to take the fan off, I'm going to clean it and, uh, and then we're going to put this cross member. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so we should put this to this ground before we forget. And somebody was asking me about the ground strap over there for the horn. Of course I have a ground strap there and I even checked with my test lights and uh, there's continuity from here to the steering wheel so we are fine for the horns. <laughs> New harness, right? And this fits here, it doesn't fit here. So now I know what's going to happen if I use a drill bit, I'm going to mess it up. So I'm going to use my grinding to Oh, those little things. <laughs> All right, so finally we can install this cross member and it goes with these with these tabs up otherwise it is totally symmetrical but i checked the drawings and it goes with this these tabs up and these tabs i have no idea what they serve for but we will find out later obviously it needs to come this way so maybe it's a good idea to put it before the fan but i didn't think of it, so we might need to take the fan out again <laughs> Yeah. Ah, now we can position it properly. Oh, 
I don't think these need to be here. They need, I think they must be here. Huh. I'm gonna go check on that. Yeah, I checked and I'm pretty sure that this, uh, this is the radiator support and as I suggested, it must be here and support the rad here. I think that's for the support for the bumper. Um, now that I don't have the radiator yet, I better install the bumper support and everything here because after that it's going to be too tight. So I pulled that, I pulled all the supports out and they're right here. So I checked drawings because I took these apart if I remember well, but I don't really remember what, what went where. So uh, I checked drawings and it turns out these are rear ones and these are rear ones. And I just happened to have a third one of these. I'm pretty sure this came from the 74 by mistake, but this, we're gonna leave it to the side for now. And these are the front ones and these are also the supports. And I think if we're talking about the right side, this is going there and this is going there and this is going to this tab that I said something is uh, attached wrong there. Here there are some nuts, so I'm gonna chase the threads now before it's too late. Okay, and now we can install them. So this looks like it is the left one. So we're gonna take this one which goes like this. Yeah, this should be the right one. And yeah, okay. This bumper support comes here. Ugh. Needs to match this hole here. That's for the bumper, of course. And in the bottom needs to match these two bolts over there. This must be I just have them started, but I'm not going to tighten them until I have the bumper installed there. So let's see now the top one, because there's one more support that supports this support. So now here inside in the engine bay, this is where I said this is in the wrong tab, because this needs to be here and that's to support the radiator. And on this tab, we should have this one, which is here. And two bolts in these holes, which we already chased the threads, you remember? So we will take this out and we will put this one instead. Again, I'm not going to tighten it, just going to bring them closer. And someone commented under, I think it was Ralph Cup, that before I put this cross member in, it was a good idea to grind a little bit here uh, underneath so I can pass the belt through without removing the bar if I need to change the belt. Actually, that's absolutely not a problem here. I thought it was a good idea too and it was too late now, but actually, look. It goes absolutely no problem. And I can take it out. And then if I want to put it back on, just do this, this. And it goes where it's supposed to be. So I don't need to grind it. So whoever had that issue that the cross member 
was preventing the belt to come off had serious issues with the frame for sure because there's plenty of space here Ta -da! we have the bumper on and it looks great <laughs> starts to look like a car oh, I'm so happy and um, and if you wonder what are these, these are the bolts for these Hela halogen lights that came with the car. And I think we can, I think we're gonna install them because it looks uh, nice with them. They look new. I don't think they've, they've ever been installed, or they might have been installed. But anyways, they look new and nice. And anyways, and um, well, while I was assembling the bumper and all the bumper mounts and everything something occurred to me i think uh, i've never drove that car never had it on the road i had the engine running a couple of times but i don't even know what the condition of the transmission i don't know even what's the condition of the overdrive uh, clutch so you know what i think i should focus more on uh, assembling the engine and uh, the engine bay, uh, all the alternator, carburetors and stuff, install the gas tank, uh, bleed the brakes and test drive it before I go too far ahead because you never know, right? <laughs> so if something is wrong it's uh, better to catch it now before the car is uh, too far assembled. So that's what I think I'm going to do from now. I'm going to focus more on the, um, what I just mentioned so we can put it on the road but I think that's gonna happen in the next video because uh, for now I'm gonna stop uh, this video right here the rear bumper mounts I'm gonna put back on the shelf and we're gonna deal with that after the test drive so uh, I think that's gonna be it for today because I have a lot of uh, video shot so far and I think I have enough to put one video together so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one bye <laughs> I couldn't help it I put them on there they're not wired but at least I put them on so I wanted to see what the car would look like with them I think that's nice <laughs>